Anarchists, be careful what you read. Today is Monday, October 22nd, 2013. One ounce of silver is $23. One Bitcoin is $167. Peace News Now is brought to you by Bitcoin. From friends of WeUseCoins.com. Learn about the new currency that's taking the internet by storm. Bitcoin is changing the world. WeUseCoins.com Attention! The weed fairy is on the loose in New York City. People all over Brooklyn are seeing posters taped to subway walls and other public places with the message reading, These times are tough. Take this weed. And there was actually cannabis attached. So far, reports have indicated that the bud is high quality. The anonymous pot giver is sending out Twitter messages under the name The Weed Fairy. Follow along on Twitter, at The Garden Breath, for more updates. In other news, Shannon Bear Cothran was working alone inside a Shell gas station around 3 a.m. when a man brandishing a knife entered and demanded money. Shannon pulled a concealed handgun from his pocket, and the robber immediately fled. The robbery attempt was thwarted, but Shannon was fired a few hours later by the owner of the gas station, Norea Energy, because they prohibit employees from carrying guns. The store manager and district manager both pled with Noria Energy to save Shannon's job, but in less than 24 hours, they had fired their employee of 10 years. Outraged by the news, protesters rallied outside the gas station on Saturday. They believe it's wrong to fire Shannon for defending himself and the business. One of the protesters said, quote, Maybe we'll make them realize that they need to fix their policy and fix the safety of their employees. What do you think about this? Should a company be free to fire employees who defend themselves? Should your employer be able to tell you that you can't conceal a firearm? Share your thoughts on the Peace News Now Facebook page. This story brought to you by friends of blockchain.info. Download the free Bitcoin wallet at blockchain.info. Bureaucrats in Uruguay have proposed a law that gives them the power to control and regulate cannabis. The new law would set the price at $2.50 per gram. But don't spark that blunt just yet. According to the Huffington Post, the new law, quote, provides for government control over the entire marijuana industry, from cultivation to consumption. Bureaucrats set limits on the amount of cannabis individuals can produce. It can only be sold by state-run pharmacies, and buyers have to register with the state and are limited to 40 grams per month. Does this news excite you or frighten you? Share your views by tweeting at Peace News Now. Banksy is a UK-based graffiti artist who produces art on public buildings. His work centers around social commentary, anti-corporatist, anti-surveillance state, and anti-war messages. Banksy recently announced his move to New York City, where he's already begun producing his signature-style art. But Mayor Bloomberg wants Banksy arrested. Where do you stand on this issue? Is Banksy a menace to society who should be caged for his crimes? If nobody owns public property, can defacing it be called criminal? Share your thoughts in the comments section. Are you an anarchist? Mark Miggs Noeem is asking for your help. He wants you to send him pictures of people, places, and things. But be careful what you send. Prison guards just threw him in solitary confinement as punishment for what they're calling, quote, anarchist literature. He had a piece of paper that had a capital A with a circle around it. For this, they put him in a cell so small he can touch both sides of the walls with wingspan to spare. They also revoked his good time, meaning he no longer qualifies for early release. Mark hasn't been accused of plotting to harm guards or other prisoners. His beliefs alone are the alleged threat. His punishment includes six months of segregated housing, no access to the prison yard, and no contact visits for six months. He still has ten weeks left in solitary confinement, but your letters of encouragement can help. Mark said, quote, All of these acts of solidarity continue to prove how beautiful our humanity and the people really are. Peace News Now is on the next news network and is brought to you by friends of WeUseCoins.com. Share this episode with your friends, and if you enjoyed it, send some Bitcoin to donate.peacenewsnow.com. I'm Derek J., reminding you that peace is the way.
everyone somewhere inside loves the idea of freedom.